How's it going guys? So week three of Draft League is finally upon us and today we're going to be facing the Johto Slow Kings. I'm going to be doing a quick team breakdown but if you guys aren't interested in that I will have a timestamp down in the description below which should hopefully pop up on the playhead and you guys can go ahead and go straight into the battle. But quick little glance at his team here. Um, first thing that catches my eye and I'm pretty sure yours is going to be the Grim Snarl plus five fantastic setup sweepers. In addition to those setup sweepers, he also has three mons that greatly appreciate screens in Iron Bundle, Espeon, and Sandy Shocks. And to round out his draft, he has Cacturn. <laughs> um, whether it's Intimidation Factor or Mortal Support, uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to be uh, applying lots of pressure from the bench. <laughs> but um, again, looking at this team, a little bit of a hot take in my first pick here, but I'm still going to go with Urshifu Rapid Strike here, right? Um, it was a big internal debate between Urshifu and Haxorus. My main thing was that uh, that if I do go with Haxorus, I'm gonna have to go setup for setup here, right? And that that's not that's not gonna be good, just because just because uh, their mods are incredibly threatening, uh, and also for the Zamazenta here as well, right? Um, if my Haxorus isn't on the field at a plus one already, and the Zamazenta comes in, like. I feel like that's kind of GG, right? Because I'm going to have to take the turn to swap out. That's a free Iron Defense. I'm going to have to take the turn to go ahead and actually get up a Dragon Nest. That's another free turn of Iron Defense. And then by the time that already happens and I click EQ, uh, he could possibly already two-shot me and kill me by then, right? Uh, Surging Strikes, love it. Always crit. And uh, because of that, it also bypasses Reflect. So we're going to be doing decent damage here. Uh, he does have a lot of resistances and a lot of answers to this, but hey, over the course of a game, can your mons really be switching into her, uh, surging strikes repeatedly? Uh, and that's also just one move here. We, we're going to be running scarf. Just go ahead and hopefully get the jump on an iron bundle. If it's not speed boosting, I don't expect it to be. So scarf should hopefully come in clutch. Uh, it also allows me to keep pace with Dragonite and Gyarados after a plus one and hopefully threaten them with pretty big damage here. Up next, we have Glaring Slow King. Uh, between Sludge Bomb, Chilling Water, and Thunder Wave, we're really looking to be annoying into his team here, right? And spread as much status as we possibly can. Uh, this is going to be my main swap in into his Sumin Lillian. That's why we have a little bit of a split EV, uh, split defensive EVs, and a Rocky Helmet as well. Um, Chilling Water is going to be is going to be an interesting tech to see here, right? Just because hopefully we can go ahead and slow down uh, slow down their team and obviously go ahead and give me a free pivot out into something and again threaten them with pretty big damage here uh chilly reception go ahead and give us a nice pivoting move here but um yeah it, status is going to be the name of the game and to follow along that we have zapdos so zapdos is going to be absolutely key in this matchup just because all their setup sweepers are in fact physical so they're all going to be running the chance of getting static and getting parried here and to go ahead and increase those odds we also have discharge uh discharge and air cutter are two moves that his team cannot swap into or even want to stay into here, right? They do have a Sandy Shocks, but even then, I do have another mod to go ahead and actually deal with that. So hopefully those, hopefully Zapdos can be incredibly annoying and can actually come up clutch in this matchup here, right? Uh, U-turn, again, good pivoting move to go ahead and bring in Urshifu, soften up the team as much as I possibly can, and Roost to go ahead and give us some longevity. Originally, I actually had speed investment on the Zapdos, but after, uh, like, the more I thought about it, after a plus one, like all that speed investment is pretty much going to be useless here, right? So I felt like it was better served into defense, and that's what you see here, right? Um, it, it's fairly bulky here, but it's fairly it's decently bulky without the defense investment. But again, just having it, it it's going to make a huge difference here, right? Now we have the debut, the debut of Don Fan. So, <laughs> um. With Dawnfan, I'm really, I'm really hoping we can go ahead and actually get off an Endeavor plus Eye Shard here. Um, main idea is that I don't expect Hazards to come up because, yeah, I, I don't expect Hazards to come just because you have such a great time with screens plus your, um, plus screens plus your setup sweepers. And also, if you do get up screens and you do get up a Hazard, it's going to be, it's going to be incredibly annoying into for the opponent here right just because we have uh we have a mon to go ahead and actually help out against that <laughs> getting a little bit ahead of myself but um 
if they do if they do start setting up uh hopefully dawn fan can come in at full health uh they attack me and i get an endeavor off and then i just completely take out one of their giga threats here right so a little bit of a fail safe option just in case a setup sweeper does get out of a hand here but for the most part really just really just here to go ahead and help out against Sarah Ledge and to possibly be annoying and break multi-scale on Dragonite here. Um, high horsepower again for for good coverage and then rapid spin. Uh, rapid spin for hazards if he does decide to bring it here. Um, hopefully, hopefully high horsepower over Earthquake should give you a little bit of an indication of what my last one here is. But before we get into that, we have Cinderace. So Cinderace was another was another big debate in my mind into bringing this in just because this set in particular just gets hard walled by Sarah Ledge here. Uh, we do have Dawn Fan to go ahead and help out against Sarah Ledge, but even then, right, uh, still scary and again makes two of my four moves kind of useless here. Or not useless, but uh, it does give them a, a lot of risk into actually. It brings a lot of risk into using them, right? But um. Like I've said pre uh, previously, status is going to be the name of the game here to go ahead and actually cripple his team as much as I possibly can. So once again, we have Will O' Wisp here to hopefully threaten to hopefully threaten and get a burn off on one of his uh, setup sweepers here. Uh, core change to go ahead and actually help out against screens. And if he does decide to get hazards up, then that, absolutely phenomenal here, right? Just because I can core change, get screens, and set up my hazards here, uh, bypassing uh, possible magic bounce from Espeon if he does decide to bring it. Absolutely love it. U turn here gives us, gives us a good pivoting move, and again, bring in her Shifu as much as I possibly can, soften up the team as much as I possibly can, and hopefully Zapdos or even Cinderace with his good speed tier, good speed tier here, is able to go ahead and clean up late game. Lastly, we have Rillaboom, another Mon that it's going to be its debut. That yeah, that's going to be that this week is going to be its debut match. So for Rillaboom, I decided to go with a very bulky, yeah, very bulky variant here. Um, just for the Sandy Shocks and to go ahead and alleviate my matchup into Sandy Shocks and to also help out with the Iron Bundle and eating Hydro Pumps. Uh, Glaring Sloking can really eat the Ice Moves here, but uh, Hydro Pump is going to be doing big Demoglios. So hopefully we can get some turns right, get off a Drum Beating or two, uh, slow that thing down and uh, kind of limit it here, right? Brick Break is for the screens here, just in case he decides to bring it, and Bulldoze gives us good coverage into into his team here, right? Uh, drum Beating, I love. It's a great move. Still such a shame that I lost Grassy Glide, but uh, having 100% chance to lower his speed by one, it, it cannot be understated enough how useful that is here, right? Um, it's going to give my team... It's going to give my team... Um, Kind of opportunities to to get status off to get moves off here right just because they're probably going to be really incentivized to actually uh click a dragon dance or click something that boosts their speed and that gives me a, that kind of gives me a free turn here right um honestly I, I love how surprisingly bulky this thing is right uh <laughs> a little bit of a vgc set a little bit of a vgc inspired set here um with Assault Vest, this thing's very, very bulky on the Spadef side. It has phenomenal HP, and its defenses aren't aren't as, aren't as bad, right? It's actually quite serviceable, and we have just enough attack to be base 100 here. Um, once again, absolutely phenomenal attack. Yeah, phenomenal attack uh, stat here, right? So, really helps out in alleviating... Really helps out in, in our EV distribution because of that. Um... I feel like we do have the tools to go ahead and come out on top, but again, such a threatening team here, right? But I have full confidence in the boys, all right? I have full faith that we're going to be able to come out of week three with a dub and continue our undefeated streak. Yes, this team is scary. Yes, there's a bunch of setup sweepers. Yes, there's a lot can go that can go wrong, but I do feel like I have the tools to go ahead and actually win this matchup and hey man there's only one oh, there's only one way to find that out right and i will see you guys in the battle <laughs> how is it going ladies and gentlemen so we are here with some more draft league and the time is now right so no grim snarl which is incredibly interesting and i think our opponent oh no 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 it's just like that um on preview um good luck have fun so gonna be Okay, 
So, Sarah Ledge, we have Average Tusk for Hisuian Lilligan. We do have um, our we do have our Glow King here for the Zamazenta. We do have our JR5 Henny for. Uh, in terms of lead, though, I'm not sure what exactly I want here. I feel like a very safe lead is going to be Zapdos here, just because it matches up well into a lot of his team here. Um, if he goes Iron Bundle, I'm just gonna have to scout out with I'm gonna have to scout things out with, uh, with Gloking here, see how much damage I take. He can potentially run fucking Specs Modest here, right? Just because my team doesn't have a whole lot of speed, but. Um, one thing I will say is that him not having Grimmsnarl and screens here kind of, kind of makes this a little bit easier, easier, um, still not the easiest match in the world here, right? Just cause he has a bunch of Giga threats, but hopefully we can come out with a dub here. Um, can go ahead and just lead Zapdos once more. Guess he's not ready. In terms of game plan here though, it's just going to be pivoting in, going to be try to pivoting in, going to try to pivot in or Shifu as much as possible. Just go ahead and throw off Surging Strikes here. Um... And that was the game plan with screens here, right? I, I think a lot of my Pokemon can handle can handle a good amount of his Pokemon one on one as well. So that should that's kind of fortunate for us. But um, really, just softening things up with Urshifu as much as possible and not letting any any one Pokemon get out of hand with their setup moves, right? So it should hopefully be a good game here. Okay, cool. So ooh, a little bit feared this a little bit here, right? Got to go right out into Santana here. We're going to see how much damage this thing does. If it's a two-shot, then oh my goodness, right? <laughs> oh, man. Um, team does not switch in very well into this here, right? Uh, but hey, that's just how it goes, right? His team is incredibly threatening. The fact that he got Zums into Crown and Iron Bundle in the first two rounds is insane here, right? Um, could possibly be specs again. The Zamazenta is going to be crowned, so it's going to be it's going to have to have Dauntless Shield there. Um, dude, that thing's defense is uh, both on like physical defense and especially defense on the special defensive side. It it's just insane here, right? It's a cover legendary for a reason, and it definitely has assets to back that up. Um, Gyarados can potentially be annoying here. Um, we really got to keep Zapdos around just for it and kind of force the uh, Terra Ground on the Gyarados here. So it's going to be definitely interesting to see here. Um, okay, cool. We're going to see how much damage. Sub immediately. Okay. Go for the... Just start sludging up here, right? I'm not sure exactly how much he can do here. Um, wow. Okay, so... Substitute here, he, he's going to have to hit a good amount of Hydro Pumps. I'm hoping that it's not a two-shot here. Uh, this this being sub is incredibly annoying, right? But hey, very cool tech from him. So we're just going to throw off a Sludge Bomb here, kind of look at the damage ranges here and kind of go on from there. Um, so Substitute is one of his, move, um, one of his moves. I'm going to go ahead and guess that um, Hydro Pump and Freeze Dry are his others. Uh, I'm not sure what he wants to go ahead and actually run for his last. He can't exactly... Iron Bundle doesn't exactly get the best of coverage, so it's going to be interesting to see here, right? Um, double Ice move is definitely a possibility, but hey. Sludge Bomb. Freeze Dry. Okay. Critical hit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Critical hit. Freeze. Um, that's definitely annoying. That is definitely annoying here. Um, oh, that immediately puts us behind the ball just because I don't have very, I, I can't exactly, I don't have many opportunities to go ahead and actually unthaw myself in front of this, right? Um, wow. <laughs> he could not have asked for a better turn one there. <laughs> oh man. Um Yeah. So kind of I don't want to say pick one, but it's kind of a pick one situation here now. We got a chili reception here now. A little bit unfortunate. Again, don't get the thaw. Um Hydro Pump is looking a little bit like a kill here. Um Man. Do I exactly want to risk that here, right? 
Uh, we'll go Lion King once on the possible Hydro Pump here. Yep, exactly. Very nice. Go for the drum beating once. Um, so freeze dry is looking like a little bit of a roll to kill, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. I mean, U-turn is looking like a little bit of a roll to actually break the substitute here. Um, going to be a bit annoying here, right? Um, hmm. I think I might just go ahead and take it. Freeze dry. That's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh. Wow. 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 Um. Wow. Oh. This is incredibly frustrating here, right? Um, this is frustrating, but not much I could do here. Somewhat fine. Got to chilly out. Let's see. Do we thaw out? No, we don't. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hydro pump freeze dry. Um... Let's go back out in the Lime King here. Hydro Pump. That's fine. So U turn out once more. That's fine. Going to just Sludge Bomb once. Do I exactly want to Sludge Bomb here? I kind of need to break the sub somehow, right? Um, This is fine if it does then. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, um, free Hydro Pump for them, then. That's super annoying. Um, cool. That's kind of unfortunate, then. Um. Yeah, wow. Don't exactly want to give up. Um, don't exactly want to give up. Freeze is looking like a kill from them here, here, right? Um, of it's fat, of they're faster, they're faster. I can't exactly do much against this here, right? Uh, <laughs> um, they have. Hopefully, they miss a hydro pump here. Nope, they go ahead and head connect. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, let's go ahead and hit a CC here. Yeah, dude, that's that's fine. Freeze dry hits and kind of GG here, right? I can't exactly do much. Um, <laughs> double freeze into my Pokemon just really, really hurt us here, and yeah, that's so unfortunate, right? Um, <laughs> uh, it, it's frustrating, and I'm a little bit upset, but like, it, it's a bit comical here, right? I was, I was expecting a third, um, third freeze here, right? But um, yeah, I, I can't do much about that, right? Um, whatsoever, unfortunate. Um. I don't know to the Dragonite they want to go. We will just go Dawn Fan here. I don't know to the Outrage. A little bit unfortunate here. Kind of fine here. Kind of got to hope we, they hit themselves in confusion. On um, this turn, let's see if they do. They do. Cool. Um, I'm going to go for the Discharge. See if, see if we can get a, go ahead and get a full para here. I think they might be faster, but either way, though. Oh, actually, we're faster because we got the roost off first. Um, hopefully, we can go get and actually get. But actually, we hopefully we can go ahead and actually get the full para here. Uh, on top of the confusion, right? Free discharge. Um, kind of had to throw my, away my whole team just for the uh, iron bundle there. Um, <laughs> oh man, that's so annoying. I possibly could have saved the. Um, I really possibly could have hope we get the para. No, we don't even get the para there. Let's go for the air cutter here. Sleep powder. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's a 5% chance. Come on, dude. Wow. <laughs> That's a 
5% chance to miss, dude. Oh, come on. Wow. I, I ran Hurricane. I mean, yeah. I ran Air Cutter over Hurricane just for this reason, but, um. Yeah, exactly. My thoughts here, right? Go ahead and roost up. See what we can do here. Close combat. Yeah, GG. And the crit. And the crit to finish it off. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And the crit just for just to rub salt on the wound here, right? Oh man. Wow. Um again, my poke I feel like my Pokemon were one on one, could handle his team fairly decently. The iron bundle was gonna be the biggest problem or biggest concern here, right? But um again, between Rillaboom and between my Slow King Galar here, we were able to actually go ahead and get some turns up on it and actually um handle it decently well here but um <laughs> he literally froze my checks my checks to it um yeah dude that's so rough um <laughs> i i can't exactly yeah i i can't exactly give any much i can't exactly give too much analysis on this here right um i will say i did go cinderace just on the hydro pump miss so i can actually go ahead and get a pyro ball off and then actually kill the um kill the the iron bundle with a close combat with our shifu next and then hopefully that would have given me some a little bit of leeway here but um didn't work out didn't work out at all in our favor nothing no, nothing in this battle worked out for us at all and that's just so that's so lame and that's so unfortunate but hey that's gonna do it for today guys i'll see you about a post game interview here but um uh, if not then <laughs> on to next week right <laughs> oh man